Lauren here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have our uh, part two of our mini faux leather junk journal tutorial. And um, before we start, I wanted to mention I forgot in the first video, I think I told you it was three signatures, but I didn't tell you how many pages I was putting in. Um, and I did five pieces of our five and a half long by three and a half high pieces of paper for each signature. So fold it in half, that gives you 60 little mini pages front and back. Um, you could probably squeeze some more in, but I know some people like to embellish the junk journal pages, so I wanted to leave room if anybody wanted to add anything into these. So that is the amount of pages that you will need. I have bound a couple of mine for my set with the fabric covers. And then I also did a quick little one signature showing the uh, printed on cardstock just glued on. And so you can easily do that. And you don't have to sew, as I had mentioned. So to bind in with what is called the three hole pamphlet stitch, you will need a couple of things. You will need some sort of pokey tool to um, poke the holes through your signatures and also through your spine. You will need some sort of binding material. I am using this um, twine because it, I liked it because it matched the cover really well. You could use baker's twine. You could use um, waxed Irish linen cord, which is actually my go-to for bigger journals. Um, this stuff is strong and it's waxed, so it it's easily goes through your pages um, without getting snagged. You will need a needle of some sort. I this is my favorite. It has a large eye and a dull tip. Um, so this is my go-to for binding in journals. And I like to have a couple of paper clips around, and I'll show you that as we go why. And I think that's about it. So for these, for the three-hole pamphlet stitch, I generally do not create any kind of template. I just eye it, and you would you know, eye the middle, poke a hole, then I usually go either up about an inch and down about an inch or, you know, three quarters of an inch from the top, three quarters of an inch from the bottom around that. But I did create a little template for our signatures because I wanted the holes to match the holes in the spine. I didn't want the pages to be uneven with the covers. So I just created that using the holes I punched in the spines. So, I have my little box of signatures here, and uh, for these journals I've been doing, um, like the first signature I'll have a decorative paper on the outside, then the second signature I was doing the tea dyed paper on the outside, and then another signature with decorative paper. Now, um, I just want to make sure everything is right side up. Right side up and right side up. I'm just going to lay them, open them to the center, lay them inside of each other to just um, make our holes all at once. And this is where the paper clips come in. Once you get them lined up the way you want, I just clip them so they do not move around on you. And I grab a little, if you have a catalog or something, that you can open and rest the pages in. Then you grab your little template, and I just line it up best I can right in the center. And we've got our all, and then just poke the holes right through. Hold it there, hoping you can see. Kind of move my lights around, so... I'm hoping that it's a better lighting from the side to see. So there we have them. And then I just separate them. And there we go, our signatures. Now when I was poking, the, as you can see there, that is where I would poke on the cover the holes for the spine, the flat. Just through there, it's just something to rest your pages on. Okay, so then grab a cover. I measure, when I'm doing three hole pamphlet stitch, I do three, like a little more than three times the height of the cover. I like to have extra, it's always best to have extra instead of not enough. And then we thread our needle. Okay, oh dear. Yes, we thread our needle 
Oh my goodness, I might have to edit this out. It's like watching grass grow. There we go. Okay, take your first signature again, double check everything's in the right order, and you're going to start with that first row of holes. You're gonna go in through the center hole of your signature, and then the center hole on that first row. Pull it through, and then I just hold a tail a few inches long. Then you're gonna go up to the top hole on that first row, and where is it? There it is. Oh, I didn't get all the way through the all. Okay, and then through the top holes on your signature. Sometimes it's a little tight because this is a big needle, but just work it through. All the way down to that bottom hole, and then through the bottom hole on the spine. Keep holding that. And then you're gonna go back in through that center hole, trying not to split that whatever uh, thread you're using to bind it. Back through, and again, just work it. Okay, I have one of my threads on either side of that center thread. And then pull tight without tearing your pages. I always like to just give a little, make sure the outside is tight. And then I do, I'm sure one knot is sufficient, but I do two knots. Let's see that. And then just trim it off. If you don't like the little tail, I like a little, little tails in the middle. So I just trim it off like that. And we've got our first, oh, I forgot to tell you. So, and you can see it on this one. Um, when you lay the papers inside of each other, if they're thick, especially if you have cardstock and things like that, they'll get too long. And I just trim them down. Usually I bring it right over to my paper trimmer, but we'll just trim them right here. You just want to trim off that edge so it's um, a little more even and so they won't stick out the end of your cover. So I didn't do this one, so we're gonna do this one on the fly. Or is it sticking out a little bit? Yeah, it is a little bit. So I am, I'm actually gonna bring it to the paper trimmer. Okay, so I've shaved them down just a little bit. And I'm gonna grab the second signature. And, oh, and a length of our twine. Two, oh my goodness, three. Okay, we've got our second signature. I've already threaded the needle. I'm going to go through the center hole. Hold my tail. The, cent the center hole in that center row of holes in your spine. And then up through the top, through the top hole in your signature. And you don't have to go, um, it doesn't matter which hole, after the center hole, you could do the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter which way you go. I just always seem to go to the top and then down to the bottom. But you could do bottom to top, does not matter. Tight. Okay, and then down through that bottom hole in your signature and the bottom hole in that center row of holes on your spine. And then back up through that center hole. And whoops, see it, you don't wanna split the, there we go. Let's go through the thread with the needle. All right, and then pull this one tight. And two knots, nice on the outside. Okay, so we've got our three signatures sewn in. Now I have my end papers um, prepped and I've sewn around the edges. 
trim off the thread. Just my zigzag stitch around the edge. And then I'm just going to glue those on with um, the Fabri Fix or Fabri Tac. Now, what I like to do with this is to keep the pages out of our way, just um, pin them back. So, got that. If you have, if it's a way that you want it, right side up. Just do that. And this is a fast grab glue, so you have a couple of. You know, a few seconds to get it lined up, and you just want to center it. Okay, and now we're going to do the other side. Here it is. Okay, and so there we have a little grungy faux leather mini journal with a three-hole pamphlet stitch. So I wanted to show you a couple of other things. Oh, if you wanted to do a little pocket on the um, end paper, um, I would probably choose a, a double-sided um, piece of paper and let's see okay perfect I'm just gonna quickly um, I trim it down and you would want it to be uh, normally our end papers were three and a half inches tall so you probably want to go about another inch and then fold that up and you could, you fold it up and you could either sew the edges or glue them down. And then you could glue that in and you'd have a little, here we go, a little pocket there. Now I've done that with a couple of page examples. So this paper I cut five and a half by four and a half instead of three and a half, scored it an inch and folded it up and glued it and created little pockets here. And then that would be bound in like that. Or this one, three and a half by six and a half long, scored it an inch, at an inch in and folded that in and glued it and then that's another little tuck that you could bind in. So those are a couple of options. The other thing I wanted to show you is if you wanted to cover your spine, uh, if you wanted to decorate that and cover where you uh, sewed through, you could use, oh actually that's really cute, you could use trim, glue that on, um, I have some tea dyed seam binding here you could glue on if you wanted. Um, some lace, although I would have to tea dye this, it is way too clean looking, too bright. Well, that's pretty too. You could um, distress ink it or tea dye it and glue that on to cover the. Oh, I also have, if you wanted a pop of color, you could glue on some ribbon, or this is just some dyed seam binding. Very pretty. So you could cover those. Now I'm going to do something really quick with mine and I will, um, I'll actually show you that in the third part because it's part of the display and I have to have all mine done to show you, but I am going to be leaving these, I think. We'll see. But anyway, um, I think that is it. What else did I want to tell you? I think that's it. Please leave any questions down below. Um, I hope that it was clear and um, three hole pamphlet stitch is super easy and it's good for smaller journals. Stay tuned for part three. Um, I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek hints of what that's going to be. Okay, so here are my first three little journals ready to go. I'm going to finish the other six and then um, some of this might be involved in part three. And here we have um, some more images from the old design shop. 
This is from the Vintage Ephemera Botanicals collection and we will be using some of these. I don't know which ones yet, but that is Dictionary pages, love that, and poppy. So that is, um, these are potential ingredients for part three, which is a place where these little guys can call home. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, guys. I hope you like this video. Um, again, if there's any questions, please leave them down below. And I will see you back here on the next couple of days for the final part three of our little mini faux leather junk journals. And Thanks again, guys. Bye.